Welcome to Free Practice 2 of the United States Grand Prix of the F1 2019, or 2018 crew met, excuse me. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm thinking about uh, me recording Austria as I'm recording this. Sorry, I've had too many coffees to drink. Alright. So we're going to go out here, do our Free Practice 2 stuff. Which is the super soft tire, that red stripe tire and then we have the ultra soft tire that we're gonna have to use uh, for this session which after that we have one more set I believe we have one more set yeah we have one more set because I put it at six five and two six ultras five super softs and uh, the rest is history so I had a little leak uh, in the car uh, all, all fixed and yeah. How's everybody doing this afternoon here in Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas? Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday afternoon here. Glad you can spend spend your Friday on this channel with me for the uh, fourth to last time of this career mode. So we can focus on the F1 2019 career mode from here on out. Give me a Raikkonen at a 48.09. As it is free practice two for the United States Grand Prix, my home race. Of course, I wrapped up the championship back in Japan two week uh, last time out. Of course, we have a back-to-back -back race weekend with Mexico. Even though it's supposed to be Mexico this week, U.S. next week. So don't ask me why it's all screwed up. That's because I'm still playing the old game. Just just letting everybody know before you freak out and say, Oh my god, Wolves, I thought you are sp you're supposed to be doing Mexico. It's like, yeah, I'm on the old game. You realize that, right? Yeah. So. Now, on the F1 2019 career mode, then it'll be all lined up. So, yeah. Which I can't wait to play the F1 20. Can't wait for the F1 2020 career mode to come out. I think that's the game I'm looking forward to the most, is that F1 2020 crew mode. And I've gone to the top of the pylon. Woohoo, we can go even quicker. Yeah, we can go even quicker on the ultra soft tires. Her qualifying in the race should be dry. Of course, we're going to Mexico after this race weekend. Alright, now that we're on the subject of we expect this race weekend to be any... F should be a lot of fun. I know Brazil's going to be exciting. Of course, Brazil's the shortest besides Austria we go to on the calendar. Cannot believe we're already here at Circuit of the Americas. And we only have, after this race, we only have three races to go in this career mode. Can you believe that, folks? So, yeah. While I'm doing uh, this... While I'm doing free practice too, I want to go ahead and take take the uh, liberty to say uh, to all of you fans that have been on this channel, thank you guys so much for following me on this amazing journey of the F1 2018 crew mode. I know it was a game that was old, but I wanted to do a let's play on it because why not? Because I'm too finicky. But I hope you guys understand, and hopefully you did enjoy the uh, let's plays and. Uh, Hopefully you guys are enjoying the F1 2019 career mode, which the next race we're going to be doing is the Austrian Grand Prix. So we're making a lot of progress on that career mode. So hallelujah. I expect to be recording uh, Austria pretty soon, actually. But I have to take an engine penalty because I don't have the parts of the gearbox or to the power unit. So... Which I'm fine with taking an engine penalty. Probably I'll take an engine penalty for uh, Silverstone. Start at the back. 
Even though I'll win the pole, I'll have to start the back because I had to take an engine penalty. That's something you don't want to do, and I don't want to blow up, so that's why better be safe than sorry to just start taking engine penalties and start the back of the grid with a fresh power unit. It's it's better to have a fresh power unit, so. Plus, I don't know what the weather is going to be like in Austria. Of course, we saw what happened in France in this career mode where it was raining, and we had a, only ran one dry tire. I think it's going to be dry. I have to check when we get back to the garage to see what the weather is going to be like uh, for... I think I said earlier today it's going to be dry. I think it's going to be dry. If that's the case, then whatever tire I qualify in, whatever I, whatever my fastest lap is on the tire I qualify tomorrow for qualifying, that's the tire I'm actually going to start the race. Uh, little note: Free Practice Three will be coming out at 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. Eastern Time here in Texas. Uh, qualifying uh, will be coming on right before the Elijah Leonard talk show. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. Good luck to everybody on the talk show. I know they'll be talking about a lot of things, but I know before that they will be talking about this amazing uh, race that I have tomorrow uh, for Sunday. One of the things I really need to just do this week, and I think one of the things we need to make sure is we don't need Ferrari to score a big load of points. In other words, we need Ferrari to have another bad race, like what they had in Japan. Because Force India, which will be called racing which is called racing point in the F1 2019 career mode. Will be, uh, will be a team to be reckoned with. So, yeah. Also, want to point out for the F1 2019 career mode, uh, by the time you're watching this career mode, um, right now, that the F2 races, uh, will be coming out after the F1 2019 career mode is done. So, so if you're wondering where all the F2 races are for like, um, so don't freak out if, uh, if I haven't finished up the F1, uh, the F2 side for the F1 2019, uh, career mode. It will be done as soon as possible. I might actually have to redo the career mode so I can um, so I can take over uh, probably control George Russell's car. I might do that after I'm done with the career mode. Then I'll just slot it into um, now. I'll probably just leave it with uh, Lando Norris that I have right now. But uh, until we get the uh, 2019 drivers, then I could do the roster for the F1 2019. So, um, I'm also going to do the nine uh, races that Formula 2 that Formula 2 that doesn't go to, and this track right here is one of them for F2. So I'm going to probably do a what if F2 went to nine races that they've never been to, like Singapore, uh, China, Australia. Montreal, Mexico, and the finale in Brazil. I want to try that little experiment. Let me know down below what you guys think about that little experiment, and then we can talk about that uh, in a call. So, all right. Um, that's all I have to say for that announcement. Uh, I'm gonna turn the volume down so I don't get in trouble uh, with YouTube. So far. Surprisingly, I have not been in trouble with YouTube lately. Well, well, I take that back. I, I was for one video, but I haven't got a reply back. Okay, let me check something real quick. Um, yeah, the race weekend's dry. Hmm. So we're in for a dry weekend. It's just partly and mostly cloudy in this session. Not a big deal, so it's going to be a dry race weekend.
We know Abby Dabby's gonna be dry. I mean, hello, it's right in the middle of the desert in the Middle East, so. Haven't been in the Middle East since Bahrain. One of two races that we can guarantee it will be dry. So, there you go. Alright, now I'm on the uh, grippiest tire, the Ultra Soft, that purple striped Pirelli compound tire. This is my other tire I had to use for this session. I have another set that I have to use for tomorrow. As the sun is out. So it's still a gorgeous day as it is here in here in Coda. I screwed up my rhythm. That's not good. Don't screw up your rhythm there, Boils. <laughs> Even though I did. Probably the second lap after these tires get up the temp. I will not screw up this lap. Who's that up ahead? That's uh, Signs. I'm about to catch Signs. Down the back straightaway. Yeah, this is the grippiest tire in the world. This is like the fastest tire. So I might start the race on the ultra soft tire. The problem is, um, with the tires I've got, of course, the next time I, I won't see the soft tires until we get to the race. And of course, since we have a dry race weekend, that means you have to use at least two sets of dry tires during the course of this race. It's a 56 lap race here at Coda. And of course, I've already won the championship, so I can go out there and have some fun. Probably ate a piece of steak or something. Set the quickest lap time by a second over Daniel Ricardo. Of course, uh, I'm not going to worry about regulations because that's... It's not going to matter in a career mode like this. Because I'll be done with this game, like I mentioned. I'll be done with this game, then focus on the F1 2019 career mode. That's pretty much the plan, is get this career mode done as quickly as I can. That way I don't have to fuck around with it anymore. Which I know you guys would absolutely agree with me. Like all of you should agree. Ran a little wide there. I don't, should have not done that. Of course, we had the the 24 hours of Coda here, so this track has had a lot more grip. Let's make sure we don't end up doing like what we did in Japan two weeks ago. Or we end up spinning out, coming out of the pit lane. We did that. I did that to, I think it was Daniel Ricardo. I spun in Japan two weeks ago, coming, or last time out, coming out of the pits on a fresh set of softs. But somehow, some way, it didn't hurt my tires. So that was like a blessing in disguise. And I just went another two tenths quicker, so. You see a good view of downtown Austin, Texas. Of course, we are it. Like I mentioned, we're in Texas, home of barbecue. I guess we're gonna have a nice little barbecue dinner when we're done with the track here today. Have your calories for Texas-sized barbecue, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> I love barbecue. Just. Just any barbecue in general. Don't I don't care if it's Kate. I don't care if it's Kansas City barbecue, Texas barbecue, St. Louis barbecue, Memphis barbecue. Don't care. Barbecue is barbecue. That's all we can agree. This is where a, uh, of course, IMSA runs here. Uh, sometimes. 
They ran here a couple of times. Like after, like after F1 came here in 2012, IMSA came here for the first time in 2013. They're hosting the uh, Superbikes uh, for like the like the Grand Prix of the Americas is now what it's called for MotoGP. They run here and also at what is now WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Sega. So it's like they make two trips out here to America. Of course, we also had the V8 Supercars here back in 2013. I really enjoyed watching uh, V8 Supercars live. At least we get to watch the races live. That's the best thing we can say. There's a nice view of downtown Austin. Really enjoying this track. I really like this track. I've never been to a race before at this track. But my dad's been here a couple of times here at Texas. Of course, I won this race in the F1 2017 crew mode here at Coda. So it's like winning, winning, winning your home Grand Prix is like winning the greatest gift in the world. Of course, I won on like super soft tires. Because the test race, I went with soft tires, and it backfired. So, that's uh, a good lesson to say, be smart with your tires. I believe this is the same three tire compounds we have, we had in the F1 2017 career mode. Can I confirm that? Yes, I can. I can confirm it. Actually, I got a couple of ultra softs. Okay, then I don't know what that was all about, but whatever. And I got and I get the same two tires. I had 32 percent. I had about okay 35 minus 19. Okay, I had 16 laps on a set of super softs. I've only had like five. Well, this one's five, so. Of course, the wear is almost identical. So, ha ha ha. Yeah, I know some people. You know, I don't. I don't know if uh, you guys did see uh, the stuff I was talking about back in uh, uh, Japan. Um, I don't think it's going to rain there, mate. But as I was getting ready to say, um, I haven't talked to, uh, I haven't talked, I haven't been on, like, like I'm, I was, like I said, like I was discussing back in, uh, uh, Japan, you know, you know, I mean, you know, Trying to get all these career modes and all this other random shit is gonna is like takes a lot of time. I know it could. I know you guys don't want me to do this. Did not want me to do this, but I had to do it anyway because I had a career mode I had to finish. Of course, I started this late last year, like almost the end of last year, early this year. I had to finish this career mode because we're almost. Because F1 2017 took me till this year to finish, and the game was like two years old. Yeah. And then, and I've had the F1 2019 game that came out, because I bought it early in advance, and I didn't have to wait to do a demo. I just bought the game, and automatically, we've gotten races already done. Like I said, I'm already up to Austria. So I'm already almost done with the 
I'm like halfway, almost halfway through the European tour because I have to go to, I have yet to go to Germany. I've yet to go to Hungary. I've not gone to Silverstone yet. Of course, Silverstone, that will be like the halfway part of the stretch. And of course, I still have yet to go to the track we were at uh, two weeks ago in real life. That was our last time out, which was Singapore. So, haven't been to Singapore for the F1 2019 career mode. Even though there's supposed to be a patch update on that DRS zone for the uh, for uh, Singapore, but it might be in the F1 2020 career mode. Which, if that's the case, then that's pretty much how important that is. There's my teammate Checo, who has got the uh, same upgrade package as me this weekend. So. Not sure if the talk show is today or tomorrow, but by the time you're watching this premiere, we should already have the answer to that question for you guys. So, yeah. Speaking of talk shows, I'm going to go ahead and address this. Uh, my talk show, uh, as I'm recording this, uh, will be on will be uh, this Friday. Well, like I said, by the time you're watching this, the talk show has already happened. By the, by the time you're watching this premiere, to be more specific. One thing I don't want to do when I go to Brazil is take out Perez. Because Perez could be my amazing weapon. I just want to get behind my teammate and say, hey, mate, we still have a chance. I want to see Checo and I. I want to see Checo get a shitload of points this weekend. Because what we need is we need Ferrari to have some problems this weekend. That would be nice. Number one. Number two. Because this time in the career mode, in the F1 2017 career mode, we had a long shot. Even though we still had 100 points to play for. But we needed. I need Checo to have no more mechanical issues. On his power unit. That way he can get to the end of the race. Plus I still got to get the package. Um, I got to get as n enough resource points as I possibly can. Because. I hate the rule tech uh, regulations and all the other shit in this game. Same in the F-120-19 uh, career mode. Alright. Just doing a swap back and forth between the Ultra and the Super Softs. We have 50 minutes and 17 seconds left in this session. So we're technically almost halfway through this session. See if the track conditions really have changed a bit or if it's not. Of course, if the. Well, anyway, I'm not going to say it. But, uh. Okay. 
Night, dear. I was talking to mom if anyone was asking as I'm recording this. This is actually going to be my last run anyway on these for today. Yeah, we've heard that story like how many times now? since I've talked to him about tires. Wow, Fernando Alonso's third. Good lord. Ah, crap. Made a mistake on that penultimate corner. Of course, IndyCar got to race here earlier in the year. So, yeah. I'm going to have a brand new uh, power unit for actually I'm going to take an engine penalty for Austria for the F1 2019 career mode might run a might run a lower might run a different engine for free practice 1 and 2 and then I'm going to start getting a new uh, power unit ready for free practice 3 so but like I said, I'll take an engine penalty for parts. Because I still got to get some parts on that uh, power unit. Alright, I think that's going to probably do it for me. Nice little 14 laps, 15. Not even going to improve, so... Wow, Checo's 10th. Excuse me. Down at the bottom, Pierre, uh, Charles Leclerc on softs. Hulkenberg on softs. That's interesting. Alright, that's it for us. As all the cars are now over the line, your top three again are Blue, Ricardo, and Fernando Alonso. Dang, Alonso ahead of the Mercedes and the Ferraris? That's interesting. Stapping on softs. Rest of the runners down at the bottom. Charles Leclerc out of 42-3. Thank you for joining us for day one here at Circuit of the Americas. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give a like, comment in here, give us your thoughts, subscribe if you haven't yet to become part of the PCS Ray crew today. Until next time, I'm Daniel Voles, aka PCS Ray Blue Hedgehog 26. We'll talk to you tomorrow from Austin. Until then. So long, everybody.